this is just a, a short quick demo on the new version of DAS that's come out um, I'm new to this, I've only been playing with it for with a couple of hours but you can actually download for free this DAS Studio 4.6 version so I'm just going to quickly show you what I've done with it or what you can do with it I've kept the previous versions of DAS versions 3, versions 4.5 but this 4.6 is what we're going to look at. I don't actually have Animate, so this Animate 2 I haven't bought, so I'm just going to cancel that when it loads that up. I did struggle with the libraries and where to put everything in the libraries, and I clearly haven't got it right because this obviously is not working. It's not doing the startup library. But basically, you can, in your preferences, you can decide where your libraries are going to be, what you're going to have when you start up and your content library which is quite important you have a, a content directory manager and there you can specify the library so the DAS, my DAS 3D library is the new 4.6 version this DAS Studio my library is from a previous version of DAS So, what I want to do is, very simply, I'm just going to stick a background in. So I'll go to Backdrop, the image, which I click on there, I can browse, and I just, in, I've been creating various things with Bryce, and one, I, one thing I created was this cartoon, cartoon looking image. Just accept that. I'm just going to shift the plane, probably tilt it a little bit, because what I want to do is in the DAS Studio formats and the Poser formats, I've set up my DAS 3D library, and if I go along to it, if I go to Figures, and I go to DAS Animals, I then get these animals here. These are presumably some of the animals I've loaded from a previous version which were free when I've been looking at DAS before. So I'll just grab the elephant and I'll just bring him in here. I'm just using my mouse wheel just to zoom up and down a bit there. Now what I like about this is you can actually change things very simply just by clicking on it you can move things around. So if for example if I click on the timeline if I insert a timeline key there and then I'll just move this along to there for example I'll change this around maybe do that and we'll insert a timeline time key keyframe. So I just play that. It's very quick to just quickly do some sort of animation. But you also have this animate light, or you could have the animate which you might have paid for. But if I just put my mouse over these, then it takes an animation that it's already set up. So for example I have a jump. So if I drag that in there, put that in there, and sit in the chair, stand to kneel, stand up. Let's just put that one there. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how quickly this renders, because that's the other thing that's impressive about this. It's quick to create an animation, and it seems quick to render as well. I could, if I'd wanted down here, I could have changed some of the animations. I could have had a dance, dance type animation, depending on what I want to do. But going back to the render, I'll let you see the render. Render the scene. Now that that rendered very quick. If that just rendered the image. But if I want to render the animation itself down here where it says still image 
I'm just going to change that to movie. And I'll enter a name, let's just call it under one. And basically, you can set up your libraries. Let's just want that to be. Yeah, AVI. Now, if I click on this and render it, let me just show you how quick this will render. This file already exists, I know that, I've done it before. I'm just going to overwrite that. So, this very quick animation that we've created. It's just starting to render now, so I don't know if you, whether you want to time this, just for this small animation. Yes, I know my windows are slow. That's because I'm monitoring this, as well as actually creating the render. It has slowed, it's slowing down because I'm actually t using my, my sort of recording, recording what I'm doing here. So maybe, maybe you can try it at home, see how quickly it does it. Here we go. I'm just going to use a Microsoft Video Compressor. So I'll say OK to that. And if you see how quickly it's doing this. It's quickly created a render. So if I actually go into where I have it, if I can find it. I'm going to Daz Studio. So I've got a folder here called Render Library. And here's the render one. There we go. So that's how quick it is just to create a very simple animation. So that was probably less than five or ten minutes. So imagine if you spend all afternoon setting up these animations and then tagging them all together, stringing them together. You should be able to get quite a nice little movie created in, in not too long a period. So uh, I haven't always been impressed with Daz in the past and I've never really got to grips with it. But what I've seen t today with the new version, I think I'm quite pleased with it. So I hope you found that of use. Thank you for watching.